On the left, I'm using SQL Server Express 2014, and on the right, I'm using Visual Studio Community Edition 2015. So let's connect to the, the default instance. So dot backslash SQL Express. And then here, we're going to create a new database. So right click, create new database. And let's just call it this database example databases. Example database. All right, and then expand that out. Right click table, click table, and we're going to create a new table. So let's have a number column of ints, a word column of characters, and a date column, dates column of dates. And this is the most important part. You've got to set that as a primary key. It's not going to work otherwise. We'll save this as a new table. All right, let's uh, populate that database with some information. So expand that out, select the top 200 rows, and we'll just put 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, and some other dates in there. Now, the primary key, there can be no nulls in that column, so all those numbers have to be filled up. All right, save that. Now we've created a database, so let's create a project to talk to it. So Visual C Sharp WPF. We're going to call it Example Application and make sure it targets 4.5. All right, first thing we've got to do is we've got to add a new connection from the Server Explorer. So add a new connection and make sure that that data source is Microsoft SQL Server. And then the server name, same thing, dot backslash SQL Express, just the default. And then the database is just example database. We called that before. Test the connection, and away we go. All right, now we've got to add a link to SQL class. So I'm going to add and a new item, and then just search link. And it's a link to SQL class. So let's just call that example link to SQL class. These names are actually all important because this tool is going to generate lots of code for us, and it's going to use these names in that code. So it creates a sort of user interface. And what we can do, and it's not that .dbm file, but this interface, we can just expand that out, find our table, and just drag that table in there. And as soon as we do that, and as soon as that loads, it's generated a lot of really helpful code for us. So now we don't have to manually do that. All right, so go to the XML file. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a data grid just to put the information from the database in there so we can see it. And in there, we can modify it. So we'll just call it example data grid. And we'll also create a button to save changes. So we'll just call it you know, save button. And then we're going to create an event handler for link or for clicking, and uh, we'll deal with that later. All right, and I don't use the designer much, but let's stop those things from overlapping real quick. We also got to just make that say save, just for fun. All right, so open C Sharp, and here's where all the magic's going to happen. First thing we're going to do is we've got to create a public data context. So example link to SQL classes data context. DC is new example link to SQL classes data context. So one of those things that dragging that in built was a connection string property. So that's in property settings default, and then it'll just be um, example database connection string. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to test that when we connect using that data context, is there a database? So if data context database exists, we're going to load that data grid, its item source, with the data context, and then it's going to be new tables. So we called it new table, and it's pluralized that automatically. And then when we save the button, we're just going to go data context, submit changes. All right, let's compile that and load it. All right, so when you compile it, you can see that it's actually loaded the database, the information from the database. And if we change it, and if we save it, we'll see if that information gets loaded. So close that, and then we'll reopen the, load the information. And sure enough, we've affected it through our C-sharp program. So that's how you do that.